week long. And this conversation is so important to our, our continent and how do we connect the agenda 2063 to all citizens in Africa and diaspora. Our sponsors of the events are um, Organization of African Academic Doctors, Together People International, Zimbabwe Young Academic of Science, Cameroon Acad Academy of Young Scientists, Asia Africa Alliance of Learning Organization, uh, and Shanghai Mingda Institute of Learning Organization and Next Level Education Foundation and International. I'll be your host for tonight, and my name is Masim Weni from Kenya. Uh, I am a PhD candidate at Tianjin Normal University, and I am representing um, Organization of Africa Academic Doctors. And to start, just to so that we have a smooth um, online interaction and conference, please mute your mic when you're not speaking. Let us be very courteous with our words or how we chat on the chat box. Let our chat box be on fire. Let us interact there. We'll be, you know, greet us, tell us where are you joining us from? Are you fired up for our session? Because our session is jumped up with people who are knowledgeable about our continent, people who are passionate about our continent, ladies and gentlemen. Let me uh, briefly introduce you to people who will be taking us through this amazing session that we'll be having tonight or afternoon, <laughs> depending on where you are joining us from. If you hear me say tonight, just now I'm joining you from China and I might be using my time to to tell you uh you know the timings um our first speaker who will be speaking subsequently she's airborne at the moment is a uh, miss manal uh, haruche she's um uh placed at citizen and diaspora Di uh, directorate of the african union commission at this upper by ethiopia and also you know be with us throughout the, the uh, conference. She will also be speaking at our closing ceremony. It's jumped up. But before you know, I give you everything, let us take step by step. Let us first start um, with the person who will give us our introductory, our welcoming um, you know, remarks. It will be uh, Dr. Odi who is a faculty member at the University of Nigeria and the United Nations Youth and Education Alliance focal person. He is a global interprofessional collaboration uh, mobilizer, president, resident African resource person, consultant brand, a sustainability advisor, project sustainability assessor, and holds a PhD in environmental management from Fudan University in Shanghai as well as completed a second PhD in zoology from the University of Nigeria, and he has over two decades of experience in human network development. He is the president of the Organization of Africa Academic Doctors, a growing network of Africa PhD holders, entrepreneurs, and researchers from a variety of fields, are uh, dispersed across more than 70 countries around the world. Odi is a member of China's Shanghai Young Fu District Government's International Expert Think Tank on Lifelong Learning and serves on the board of Next Level Educational Foundational Foundation International and Doctors in South Africa. He is the vice chairman of the Asia Alliance of Learning Organization Stall Economic Committee. He contributes in designing solutions for global grant challenges related to partnership with human development for benefit for climate change mitigation and adaptation, sustainability indicator development, sustainability assessment, and sustainability remediation, all of which are addressed through sustainability link linkages principles and values-based approaches. He's a frequent guest lecturer at the universities, at various universities, major conferences, and events around the world on various on variety of re related issues. Please. Having gotten such an extensive introduction, please let us welcome Dr. Odi to give us the welcoming remarks. Welcome, Dr. Odi. Thank you very much, 
Mercy. I'm very excited for the I have to join other Africans and partners of Africa from around the world. And I'm excited today to, on behalf of the Organization of African Academic Justice and the partnering organizations, which include the Zimbabwe Young Academy of Science, the Cameroon Academy of Young Scientists, as some uh, other partners uh, that have been mentioned, including the Nigeria Young Academy, Excellent Education Foundation International. We have been working together to make this event to be very effective. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you also at this moment. At the very beginning, we have already almost 90 people in the house, and we are expecting a lot more. And these people are, I'd like to inform you, opinion leaders, opinion shapers around Africa, and several who also live in different countries around the world, as our, our moderator mentioned, we coordinate around over 70 countries that um, we, we are working with. And we've come together this day, this time, at this opening ceremony, the opening of this conversation. It's an conversation because we find ourselves as Africans and people who care about Africa at a position in time where many things are happening and Africa stands a huge opportunity to take strategic steps that can define the way we will be uh, con conducting ourselves and the, the form of development that can be happening on the continent for the next hundred years. Now, looking at the various statistics that have been put out by the United Nations and other uh, um, um, uh, world bodies like the World Health Organization, the World Bank, uh, about how the structure of the population of Africa is being the youngest population around the world, these are basics which we all are aware of. But in the midst of all of these things, we all understand as a family the challenges we have the situation we find ourselves irrespective of where we are, whether we live at home or we live abroad in several other countries, we know that we have one challenge, which is kind of a unifying factor. And based on the challenges we have, we have been able to come together, taking responsibility, knowing that leaders have a role to play, which is that they bring up together the vision they put together what has to be done. And we've looked at, you know, intently at the document provided by the, um, by the African Union and other continental bodies for the past several years. If you have a deep look into them, you will see that the challenges that were being addressed 60 years ago, 50 years ago, and before are still being discussed. I read a speech that was presented by the Africa Development uh, Bank uh, president in 2017. While I was reading it, it sounded like it is just something that is relevant, you know, it's still as freshly relevant as it is in 2022. Not much has changed. And we are aware of these realities and they have been put out there and they are clear. Having seen them, the African Union has been able to develop uh, the Agenda 2063, which the first, um, the, the first 10 year implementation plan is ending next year. And as we worked at researching through it, checking the content, we found that many of the aspirations still remain unattained. And one of the gaps that we identified is that there is very little citizen participation in well-defined means, in well-defined forms. There's very little citizen participation uh, towards actualization or implementation of these uh, goals, these aspirations. Of course, these aspirations, uh, there are seven of them, 
and 20 goals which have been broken down into 30. Can we change? Can I give you a good money? That's, that can never happen, right? These no. priority areas, 39 of them are all areas that if they are... Yeah, the more the money, the better. We will provide I think not only recharging, it, I think resource that's the only one who knows how to do In different dimensions. So, and we have been working to see uh, that through this, the, the, the aim of the gathering we are making at this time is to ensure working with the African Union and engaging with other bodies across the continent to open up the, 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 the opportunities for citizen participation, to open up the, the, the rooms that are available through which citizens can participate. And of course, we know that uh, whatever form of participation that we are going to be doing on the continent, we would want to ensure that whosoever is participating has something they are benefiting. Because one of the biggest challenges that have been discussed across the continent is the fact that it, is, it seems to be, to be difficult for Africans to come together and to work around the things that they need to work on. But in many occasions, we find that the, the, the reason for this could be that, th that there are no defined spaces where people could come to work based on their competencies, based on what they are able to do, what they are able to present, what value they can bring to the table. Because of the ch these challenges, we've been able to come together to set up the Africa competency-based precision citizen participation initiative. We call it precision because we don't want to make it like, okay, just like kind of conversations. Everybody comes and talks and it gets to be dispersed. You know, everybody, uh, we know our problems. We share our problems all the time. We want, we've been able to come up and we are seeing ways that we can put together direct what we call mutually beneficial interest groups, MBIGs. So that through that, people are going to form long chains of mutually beneficial engagements. Mm -hmm. Those who are in a certain area, it could be those in research, those in entrepreneurship, those in industry, those in academia, what kind, whatever kind of things they are in. And it is, it's also going to stretch through generations, such that it's going to uh, uh, stretch from, the, from childhood to the oldest of people across the continent. The frameworks are on ground. And at the end of the conference, of course, we're going to be continuing with this for the next seven days. And we want to call upon you. Please prepare your mind. When you get back after listening to what's going to happen today, prepare your mind, get other people to join, to get on board, to understand so that they can find ways that they are going to key in. And of course, we know that we cannot get everybody all at the same time. But over the years, we are going to be uh, looking at diverse angles, diverse angles of, um, of, 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 of the, the established and proven pathways through which the continent can come to life and begin to take her place in the, in the committee of um, continents and being able to, uh, to utilize what we have for the benefits of our people and for all the partners who may be working with us. So a lot of um, uh, strategies have been put in place. We've engaged with over 200 venture capital companies such that the challenge of um, having you know, the resources for, for pushing business and entrepreneurship on the continent will not be the big issue. Money will not be the big issue that stops people. As long as they have good um, um, you know, ideas that they want to push, because we know that it can never be sufficient and has never been sufficient. Government works you know, in different job sectors. It cannot be sufficient. Citizens must step in at this time because this has also been done in several other continents of the world and it has yielded great results. So ladies and gentlemen, I call upon you. This is a solemn moment. The conversations we're gonna be having with solemn conversations, put your mind to it, engage your heart. We are not just in a conference to have discussions and go away. We are, during the pre process of this conference, we expect that people are going to 
capture business ideas which they could begin to implement. And they could link up with established people within those businesses or those business lines. They could link up with them and begin to do that across the continent. If there are companies that are already functioning very well and established in certain countries of Africa, we are going to be over the years working towards opening up uh, segments of them and branches of them in other countries around the world, around Africa, so that whatever is already working in a place, because the challenges are similar, we could easily adapt them to what's going to uh, be possible in other countries. And uh, to um, try to check our time, okay, I'm still within range of my time. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to uh, call upon you to put your mind to it, knowing that indeed, as we are gathering at the moment, we are you know, just already 100 people in the house, and we are going to be uh, you know, increasingly engaging over the next, uh, over the next, um, uh, the next seven days. We'll be coming every day, the same time that we have started today. We'll be coming every day to have conversation, various angles, and through them, we will also have conversations with people, you know, people will be able to make their comments depending on the, the speaker, what the speaker has said. And there is a diverse selection of speakers, 22 of them from, from 13 countries now confirmed who are uh, you know, gonna be speaking to us. And so, and these are leaders of thought and leaders of opinions and um, you know, in their various specialties. And I want to take this moment to respectfully appreciate our fathers who are in the house, who have humbled themselves to come to join this conversation and who have uh, brought their expertise to the house, our mothers, uh, well-respected in, in their different fields who are here today, also partners outside of Africa. We are very much excited as we appreciate the, 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 uh, the, 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 the high, high commissioner of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to, um, to Australia, His Excellency Ambassador Anderson Madabike, uh, the, also the Consul General Ambassador uh, um, uh, Ogo Chimeze here in Shanghai. We are very much grateful as we welcome you, Professor Tomori, who is uh, with the World Organization Expert Group on COVID-19 uh, um, uh, recommendation, of, you know, composition recommendation. You're going to get full uh, introduction subsequently. Uh, Professor uh, Charles a. Igwe, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Nigeria, we're very much excited to welcome you. Uh, Professor Zakaria Abdallah at the, at the Research Center, Egyptian Research uh, Center, uh, uh, as part of the, the uh, climate, uh, cl climate Smart Agriculture. We are very much excited to have you in the house. Professor Zhang Shengshong, the founder of Asia Alliance of Learning Organizations. We are excited also to have with us uh, the, the founder of Ants Plan, who is is also the vice president of Shanghai Youth Federation because we're working. We know that, that the, the, the potentials and the opportunities within the continent must be explored beyond the continent. So we are working with partners from around the world to see how we can get um, uh, the, the various aspects, the various things that needed to be done to, to ensure that we do them adequately and bring them to pass in the way that they're supposed to be. Professor Ayu Asuzu, the former vice chancellor of um, Oye Ekiti, uh, Univers University of Federal University Oye Ekiti in Nigeria. We're very much excited to have you with us. And um, we, we are thankful also to have uh, the various organizations and their leaders and the members who have come to be with us today and will keep joining us for the next seven days. So ladies and gentlemen, please tighten your belts. We are moving on and we are going to uh, keep pushing forward to ensure that we uh, get to engage in the way that will be very beneficial for everyone. The goal is that everyone who brings out time to participate in this will have some benefit over the years because the initiative is going to be running and we will take it strategically, also partnering with them, continental bodies to ensure that they are well coordinated and there are people with, who have dedicated time to ensure that these things are well implemented over the, the years. And it's going to be an annual event. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for paying attention to this and for getting on board this conversation. I'll hand over back to our sister, Mercy Mveni, who is going to 
continue with um, bringing up the next speaker. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Odi. We could all feel the passion, you know, when you speak commitment towards Africa, and he gave us a call of action, you know, let us put our words into action. These seven days that will be here throughout, make sure we network and not just talk, let us not just talk, but come up with solution. Thank you so much, Dr. Odi. And I'm seeing people are joining us. Please introduce yourself in the chat box. Let us, you know, this is the start of, in, you know, interaction. Tell us where you are joining us from, you know, what you are looking forward to. And when you join us, please make sure you mute your mic so that we can hear what our noble uh, speakers are saying.